Hi, I'm Erin Wilson, Assistant Curator here at the Museum of Fine Arts. And I'm the curator of the newly opened show, Defining Lines, The Prints and Drawings of Maxime Wallon. And for those of you who haven't heard of Maxime Wallon, he was actually a really key figure in what became known as the etching revival that started out um, particularly in France in the 19th century, ended, ended up carrying on through England and into the US by the early 20th century. Lalan was more than just a printmaker. He was a classically trained artist who actually excelled at charcoal, and he didn't turn to etching until the 1860s. One of his um, most kind of critical etchings is what I'm standing in front of here. It's called View from the Pont de la Concorde, or View from the Concorde Bridge, which is a central bridge in the middle of the city of Paris. For this work, he won a gold medal from the Salon in 1866. And it's fascinating because it captures kind of the heart of the city. Here, from where we would theoretically be standing if we were him, we see the Louvre and the Tuileries on this side. To the far distance, we see the bell towers of Notre Dame. And over here would be the Palace d'Orsay, which later became the Gare d'Orsay and now is the Musée d'Orsay. What's even more interesting about this um, prince, as far as I'm concerned, is the juxtaposition to a later charcoal he did. So in this view, it's also taken from the Concorde Bridge in the heart of Paris. But as you can see, this charcoal depicts the city at night, as opposed to the earlier one, which was clear, almost a bright, um, cloudless day. But here, the city appears to be on fire, and that's because it is. It's actually titled Paris on Fire. Um, this work came to us and it didn't have a date, but I'm guessing that it's gonna give us, it has a circa date of about 1871. And why I say that was because in 1871, the city of Paris actually was on fire. A revolutionary government had taken control of the city for about two months. And this was kind of the culmination of their battle with um, the regular French standing army that was operating with the government out of Versailles. And during that period, a lot of the city, a lot of the landmarks we know were set on fire. So it's kind of interesting to compare the earlier etching, which really kind of depicts the Second Empire at its height, and then this that really kind of captures this tumultuous period in French history after the Franco-Prussian War and the Commune. So looking at these two works together and looking at the skill Lalande can um, generate through his compositions, both as the etched prints and in a charcoal drawing, are just two of the really exciting things to see in this exhibition. Mm -hmm.